And then I also played the Battlefield um, Alpha. Alpha. So it's it's oh. marketed as a beta. Oh, it is a beta. <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry. It may sorry. feel like an alpha. Let's talk about that because I did that as well. I wrote beta, but I was just trying to be a douche. Congratulations. Thanks. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we all played the Battlefield 2042 beta. Um, it's good. I think we all played it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even keep a straight face when you say that. I can't. We we all played it individually and together. Together, right? Yeah. Individually. I played one match by myself, and then it took me two days to get back on it. And the only reason I got back on it is because you guys. Because we me. got on. <laughs> You're like, you want to play? And I was like, oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I want to play games with you guys. I don't want to play Battlefield. Boy. Um, yeah, the Battlefield 2042 beta, we all played it on the Xbox Series X. It was rough. This, It's bad. Rough is not mean enough. It's bad. It's not ready at all. I don't care how old this build is. This game is not ready. I would agree. Even besides the fact that it's unfinished, it's a beta, and those parts of it weren't good. Just the the, the choices that they decided to implement in this one to upgrade Battlefield are just so dumb. <laughs> like the UI for customizing weapons and classes? Yes. Yeah, it's terrible. It's it's a mess. It's confusing. I was when it was just you and me Friday night playing, mm-hmm. I was trying to figure out how to turn up my sensitivity, and I was just going through all the customization oh menus. Gosh, there's so many menus. So when you're when you're hi- when you're looking through it, one of them is light blue, and one of them will be black. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, like the when toggle you, switch. When you go over that one, so you can switch it, it flips the colors. So the one that was. Blue would be black, and the one that was black would be blue. I had no idea which one I was changing. (laughs) So I went into a game with my ADS on toggle. (laughs) Oh. So you were like, click. 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 Yeah, I'd I'd click, and I just... I couldn't figure out how to undo it. I was like, oh, my game is breaking. My game is breaking. Or your controller's broken. (laughs) Oh, that'd be the worst. But no, I just didn't know how to read the menu. The other part, yes. The attachment system is the stupidest thing. I, I get in theory, it probably sounds cool, like I can take in this scope and then firefight pops up. I can just throw on a little red dot and get back in it. I feel like that's not Battlefield, first of all. You, you pick your loadout and you're like, I'm a sniper. Mm, I'm going to yeah. sit on this building and I'm going to snipe everyone. Oh, I got shot. Okay, I'll respawn in. And this is you can just kind of do whatever you want all mm-hmm. the time, switch everything, and then like it. But then the other part is we could fi- we couldn't figure yeah. out how to get them on. And they never, I wasn't they... kidding when I texted you guys. I was like, if you guys can figure out how to put attachments in your guns, please let me oh, know. No, I played for I two days without figuring out that there it's mapped to your A B X Y versus. Ugh. Anything it logical. It looks like a D-pad. I assume it was the D-pad. <laughs> the D-pad I makes was... so much more sense. It's, a... it's either, one, a terrible system, or two, we're just really dumb. That, I mean, that both. Too. It's both. Yeah. Both. Let's yeah. be honest. But, gosh, that was the most irritating thing. I and that... I remember when I, I Googled it, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the A, B, X, Y <laughs> buttons. And now we can finally use all the scopes and stuff. It got more fun after we could do that. But it's still, like, to me, it just felt so bad to play. The other other thing that I, and this is maybe more perception than reality, but it... What is reality? What is reality? Playing against a bunch of PC players did not feel good on console. No. The game is not... It did not feel balanced right. Um, SMGs are like snipers. When you I can... switched to the SMG at the end, and I would like... Same. We would get to total kills, and you guys would be like, I'm at 8. I'd be like, I'm at 22! 
just running around with this up. I man. started actually racking them up once yeah. I started just using SMGs. I it's try, ridiculous. I, I tried using SMG. I still couldn't get. That thing is ridiculous. And it sounded like you were dropping paper clips on the floor. Just. Oh man, the audio design in this is bad. Bad too. Yeah, I don't like. Here's the sad part. I think the best part of the game was when we blew up the the helicopter with a, your drone. Um, <laughs> the one fun moment. <laughs> that was seriously. What about when I was piloting the Osprey and I was I was crushing that thing? We were going so fast and I just I didn't. I thought we were having too much fun, so I just drove us straight into the ground. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that also. <laughs> I jumped out. It was totally you blew on it up. purpose. <laughs> I uh, I just yeah I don't know I it did not feel good it was the worst feeling beta I've played of the three I've played so I played Vanguard Halo or Halo right. is a tech test whatever and then this one and this just feels so bad like all of it this game was supposed to be out yeah it was it was and I was at seven alarms when it got delayed I am at twenty five out of ten <laughs> right now I like I'm at the point now like I was gonna pre order this I don't think I'm gonna buy this day one. You won't have to. It will be on Game Pass. I think I think it will be because of the the perception of it right now. I think just need to delay it. They need to delay it until next spring. They need to delay it till spring. I don't know if they and will. It's a good idea, anyways, with two other shooters coming out right next to it. And yeah, honestly, like and because you're not gonna outsell COD no matter what, even if it is awful. And Halo is in a great place. Yeah, Halo is getting a lot of positive buzz. I think I think the smart business decision is just to push it till the spring. This is the same publisher behind Titanfall Two, so smart business decisions are not really their thing. This is a good point. Yeah, so I'm betting it's going to come out in November on November nineteenth, and I'm betting Pokemon will outsell it by Ooh. a landslide, and it's a remake of a Pokemon game. You know, it was interesting. This <laughs> playing, it was sad. Playing the beta this weekend just made me want to like reinstall Battlefield 4. I reinstalled Battlefield 4, played it for 10 minutes, and I deleted it. <laughs> it felt so old. Really? Yeah. Uh, this reminds... This game... Uh, I don't like to say this, but this reminds me of Battlefield Hardline. Oh, yeah. That was a game. Yeah, this is that's what this that was after. Me of. That was after 4, four but mm -hmm. before 1. Yep. Yeah. I think we should just oh, reinstall Battlefield one or five. If we All right, play I'm down. Battlefield five is both. So five plays better. better than this one by a large margin. Yeah, and five wasn't great. I didn't. They're think gonna five have. Was they're gonna have bad, to do but. a lot to prove to me that I should spend time or money on this game because after this weekend, I've, I'm not convinced. I'm not. No, <laughs> I've lost a lot of faith in the game. This was. One of my top three games I was excited for this year, and it's completely dropped off. <laughs> so yeah, I I don't know. I won't buy this until I feel like it's fixed. I I don't know what that looks like, but I'm definitely not getting this day one. Nope. <laughs>